I'd like to start by asking about your connection to the Knights of St. Columbanus. Tell us how you first heard about them and what roles you've had within the organisation. I first became involved with the Knights in the mid-90s. I was teaching in St. Malachy's College and uh, one of the Grand Knights, Michael Hilton, uh, was also teaching in the college and invited me to take part as chaplain to one of the primary councils. Of course, the chaplain, as you know, offers spiritual guidance and support to the primary council and encourages them in their projects, uh, deeds and actions that they undertake on behalf of the council in the church. As you know, the associate knights are for men aged between 16 and 21. As someone who has spent time working with young men, what challenges might they face in their faith today, most especially when they come to university? The climate at university, even in the north at the moment, is very much one which is marked by increasing secularism. So a faith presence at university is uh, very particular and something that we have to encourage. Uh, the Catholic chaplaincy has been here at Queen's since 1908. So it's over a hundred years of presence at the Queen's University. What we're finding increasingly now is that young men, especially who are coming to university, uh, need to have a very special formation in the faith. And of course the questions that they're having to face and deal with in the light of secularism challenge a lot of fundamental Catholic outlooks. You have the opportunity and the possibility of making so many quick changes and decisions. And so choices for you are made sometimes in a very, very short space of discernment. Then you move to a decision very quickly. Uh, job opportunities change, the possibility of moving house, the possibility of moving parish. Of course, nowadays, in terms of the stability of relationships, the possibility of changing partner. How, in your opinion, does an organisation such as the Associate Knights respond to these issues? How the Associate Knights support young men is by giving them an appropriate vocabulary, allowing them to be articulate, confident, thinking, engaging young men and ultimately young professional men, because what starts here will continue when you go back into society to work and to raise families. If you were to describe the Associate Knights in one word, what would it be and why? The one word that I would use would be communion, in the sense that the Associate Knights doesn't exist as a body by itself. It's knit into the whole fabric of the church. So the church on a local basis, in terms of parish, in terms of diocese, the church is represented, for example, at university or at other institutes of further education and even, of course, at secondary level. And then the church globally. So communion means what are the ties that bind me to other Catholics and other communities? That's very important because a big danger today is isolation that a group or individuals can feel that they're working very much by themselves. And so there can be a temptation to become disheartened or downhearted or dejected if you feel that your voice and what you're doing isn't having an effect in the society in which you're living. Now, when you're part of a communion of like-minded men, and let's say that the Knights and the Associate Knights are that, then you automatically feel the support that your brethren bring you. Now, is there anything else you'd like to add? I think there's a great invitation today uh, to find a new Catholic voice. A voice which is ready to dialogue with society. The Associate Knights, for example, are adding a new aspect to that voice and a new experience. Your experience is very different. And where you're living at the moment, how you're living at the moment, is very different to the Knights who are fathers, husbands, uh, businessmen, they've been working for 20 or 30 or 40 years, they've been in the Knights of St. Columbanus for 20 or 30 or 40 years. Your experience of the world and society is very different. Your experience of the church is very different. What we're asking the Knights also to be part of, to develop that structure and that support which allows young men to be articulate, intelligent young Catholics today.